First of all, I'm very happy to have been able to be here and always to learn, and I'm also very happy to find out how well the, uh, the Infrastructure Institute is now progressing now that we have a new director coming on as of uh, Monday, I think. So it's all very exciting. I'm sure he'll be very good, and I'm looking forward very much to working with him. Burning issue in terms of uh, infrastructure, of course, yes. It seems to me that one of the issues that we collectively have to address, if I may have the honor of associating with uh, the Institute, is to create more of a partnership between the, let's call the public and the private, because there's a lot of uh, misunderstanding, mistrust, and in some ways, low-level fighting, which I think is unfortunate, and one understands where it comes from, but creating a more uh, collaborative uh, process and a better managed process, more thoughtfully managed process, uh, would be good for India, and I would uh, be honored to be do my little bit to participate in that. Uh, One of the things is, as an academic, which has the advantage to do, and for myself, being from MIT, I've been able to travel around and work in a lot of different countries, and I think I've been engaged in infrastructure projects on, I like to say, all inhabited continents, which is a, another way of saying not in Antarctica, and I hope not to add Antarctica to my list, actually. It's a little bit cold. Um, it seems to me that we can offer a perspective on where things are going. One of the issues for managers generally is that they're dealing with the immediate crises, the urgent things that have to be done tomorrow or yesterday. And as academics, we can think about what's actually going to be the new perspective. So one of the things I hope to be able to uh, give a small contribution to is to give some perspective on the new ways in which we should be doing it. And as I tr tried to say in the uh, conclave, to think about not as a series of projects, but as, as elements of a system that's evolving where we should think about how we have contingency plans to adapt to the way the future will actually be rather than the way we imagine it will be because it's certainly going to be different than what we imagine for any kind of reasons, for financial crises, uh, rupee devaluation, new projects, new government, whatever. There are always things that make the future different from what we thought it to be, and we need to have the capacity